Hello all, welcome back to this old save. Sirius Lee's here, and today we're gonna go work on some solar ship stuff. I was on permadeath, uh, my old permadeath save, my finishing permadeath save, and I decided to go get a solar ship. I saw one on uh, the coordinates exchange app, I think? No, uh, maybe the subreddit. Uh, it was a discovery by Ostentatious. I'm like, this looks really, really good. I'm gonna go grab it. Unfortunately, the recent patch we had that said something about uh, missing metal pieces or colored pieces that were metal changed how the ship looks. So I'm not too satisfied with it anymore. So I'm gonna have to go get another one on Permadeath anyway. Uh, but it made me realize because I tried something that the bug is fixed that this ship here is is bugged out forever. I can go get another one of these and upgrade it all the way. But this one is going to get is just going to stay stuck for it. They're never going to fix the already bugged chips. I shouldn't have rushed out and got it day one. <laughs> Basically, all right, lesson learned. Nanites spent, they're gone. We have enough to do it again even from C class. So what we're going to do is uh, not use that ship to go get it. We're going to switch into this one. We are going to, first things first, go get another ship that I found myself. I found, I found that one myself, and we're going to go try to find it again. I don't know where. So that, that was the issue, is I didn't know where to go get it again. Uh, and I didn't know that this was the case. I, I suspected that it was fixed for everyone, because I saw a bunch of people who weren't all using experimental, and they had sh solar ships maxed out. So they were all either cheating, <laughs> or the bug was fixed. And uh, I, you know, I thought I'd try it on permadeath, and it worked. Unfortunately, I saved, so I spent those nanites on permadeath, even though I don't really like the colors. We'll, we'll fix it. We'll fix it. Uh, so we need to go, first things first, to Isentam and to the portal so that we can go to the star system I discovered on permadeath and hunt down or at least get the space station in our list. Uh, I would like to take a look at the ship, make sure that we're in the right system. You know, let's see if we can get it to spawn there. And then we can go hunting through all of my previous pirate systems to see if I can find our current ship again. That might take a lot longer. <laughs> I think I've been to a dozen or so pirate systems on this save. And I don't know how soon after the... Pretty soon. It, it's probably one of my oldest pirate systems, but that doesn't narrow it down too much. I don't think it was the... I don't think it was in Euclid. I think... I want to say it was in... Isdorayung or Rumanawa. One of the lush galaxies. So we should look for those in the list later on. After we go and get this one. It's a very, very similar ship. Oh, oh, come on. Uh, please don't lag on me game here. I don't want to have to, like, restart. What's, what's with the lag suddenly? Okay. Well, you know what? Maybe... If this... Okay, yeah. <laughs> Let's make an autosave. And I'm going to pause the recording and restart the game. See if we can get some... Yeah, look how slow that was loading up. I didn't want to come to this base, apparently. Alright, restore point saved. We are going to be right back. <laughs> Just a second, everybody. All right, uh, yeah, there we go. Oh, wait, I spoke too soon. Uh, it's better. It's it's better. No, it's not that great. I don't know what it is. Maybe this planet is jinxed. We're on the wrong side of the portal. Anyway, we're going to get out of here real quick. Hopefully. Oh, settler request is there. Well, I doubt that's anything useful. <laughs> All right, well, the portal glyphs haven't lit up on the uh, dial there, which, oh, there they are, okay. Actually, portal. All right, so we would like balloon, bird, uh, boat, and dragonfly down there. Uh, we need Triforce, or 
Where's that last one? Uh, YMCA. <laughs> Boat and balloon or pin marker. Uh, another dragonfly and a bird. And a cube and a scarab. All right, that's a good sign. <laughs> Found the address, at least I wrote it down correctly. All right, let's hop through and get to the outpost. Hopefully it's a pirate system. That would be another very good sign that we're in the right spot. Uh, and we'll make a, well, make an autosave in the space station but I don't know how long we're gonna wait around in the space station to see if we can find our ship. We might try a method I saw on Ostentatious' channel where you call your freighter in, and instead of landing on your own freighter, you circle around the entrance and you target NPC ships that spawn in to land at your freighter. Uh, and you can cycle through them and you can see their ship uh, sails, the solar sails in that mode, in first person mode. So we'll try that. Uh, it's a little bit hard to tell which ship is which in the in the little viewpoint, but you can see the shield, uh, the solar sails very well. You can see the color and the shape, which is the important part for this. Uh, the one we're looking for has round sails, obviously. we got to replace the round sails we've got. Now, unfortunately, they're blue, and which is great for our save. Our, we have a blue save. But we found ones that were like almost white uh, originally, so... Dice. Nice. Dice Alpha. This is definitely the right place. I remember that name. It says first contact, but that's probably just because I discovered it on my other save. And there's my legs. Great. Now we can get going. Still don't have my backpack yet. There we go. Yeah, I'm getting a bit of lag today. Uh, we might do another quick resave on the autos on the space station uh, reload that's resave well we're gonna save and reload nice purple planet here I know it has storms uh, but not like activated hazardous extreme storms so you know there's that <laughs> if we need to hunt the ship on a planet we can do it there at a trade outpost because it's not aggressive sentinels doesn't have frequent storms Alright, this part is not too, too laggy, but uh, it's probably lagging on the stream because of all these stars. Oh, and it lagged a lot when I went into uh, inventory mode there. <laughs> Alright, how close are we? 23 seconds away still, we've got plenty of time. We've got plenty of inventory space. Got some more S-Class modules there. Oh yeah, we were buying Neutron Cannon modules. We're gonna try that thing out again. I didn't have a good time the first time I tried it, but maybe I didn't give it a fair enough shake. We'll, we'll try again. Okay, yeah, now that I can move around, it's not too laggy. We'll see how it looks when we get out of our ship. I've definitely seen it smoother. So yeah, yeah, it's lagging actually quite a bit now. Fun times. <laughs> but at least now we have the autosave made in the star system. Well, now we do. Okay, let's let's give this one more try. Be right back. <laughs> well, uh, I don't know if that's going to be any better. We'll find out. It also does give us a first wave um, reload here. We're going to get to see what pops into the space station on a first wave reload because we got to reload. I think it's a little bit better. It feels a bit smoother now. I don't want to run around too much. But yeah, yeah, that's a bit better. All right, just needed to close down the game two times this time. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I haven't really rebooted the computer all day. It probably needs a reboot. I played a lot of uh, Planet Crafter today. <laughs> it's a bit of a system resource in itself. It doesn't have the same issues as No Man's Sky, but it's it's a drain. I can hear my fan a whirring when it's a playing. Here we go. That's not my ship, but hello. This is very close to what I'm looking for in permadeath. I would like a red version of this with different caps on the wings. Not these ones, and not the schnoz here. People are calling this one the falcon nose. Uh, to me, it looks like a big nose. Like, it's a nose. That's a nose, all right. It's a very big nose, and it's the schnoz. Uh, you can call it the falcon. I'm not gonna get the schnoz. I don't like it. I do like the spider. I think they call it this one the spider. I think. Anyway, it's really neat. I'm gonna try that in perma because, uh, you know, Chomper's face sort of looks like that grill. <laughs> so we're gonna get the grill of his solar ship to look like the grill of his face. No, we didn't get our ship that we're looking for here. So let's fly out into space. You know what, let's wait for another wave. We only saw the first wave here. Let's see what else we can get to spawn in after these guys leave. And uh, then we'll fly out into space and try the ostentatious way. Well, I don't know that it's his discovery. I, I saw a video of him doing it, him showcasing the method. Uh, I can't remember if he listed credit to anyone else or not, but it could be somebody else's discovery, I don't know. Maybe this is just a common thing that everyone in ship hunting has known about for forever, and it's finally applicable because uh, solar sails don't show up in the buy menu. All right, we got one more ship to land, and then we'll fly out. And you hear that noise after the ship already left? Yeah, that, that's not a new ship landing. That's the one that just left. All right, maybe we won't wait. Come on, anything else? Anything? Hmm. Hard to see past the fogginess of this runway. Maybe we'll take off and we'll do some scanning. So we're gonna wanna be in first person mode for this and you see we're down in the right hand side there it says Azure Orbs, that's the name of my ship. That is gonna change when we start targeting other ships. If we fly around now and start trying to target stuff, there's Oofke's Future, there's Luminous Pride, there is a ship with blue sails. That could be it, that could be the one we're looking for. Let's go take a peek. We didn't even need to call in our freighter, and it's over here. Now what we're going to want to do is go into photo mode when we get close. There we go. Yeah, this is the one. This is the ship I am looking for. It does not have the same wings here, but I like them okay. I like them just fine. Let's see if we can get the sun on this thing a bit better. That's a bit too much. <laughs> but yeah, I think uh, I think I'm gonna go for this guy here. That's a very nice screenshot even. There we go. And there's the glyphs. Uh, we already punched him in earlier, but maybe I'll take a screenshot with the glyphs when that banner disappears. There we go. And uh, we're gonna try to capture this guy. Since since we've confirmed that he's here, and we already have one to compare this to, where'd he go? Let's see if he lands. Let's follow him around a bit. If he lands in the space station, we can just follow him in and buy a ship. I don't know that he's going to land, but we'll keep an eye. We could just fly into the space station and wait. We know that he's out here could eventually pop in. Now nah, he's flying around to the backside, far away from the entrance now. Let's go back to that planet. That's not the one we came from. That'll be it over there. It looks like it also has a storm. Is that it? Hmm, 
no, that can't be it if we have to scan it. That's not it. There we go, purple grass. That's the right one. Orange water. <laughs> All right, we want a trade post over there on Dice Alpha. Yeah, we could scan for one here, but it, who knows what planet we'll be sent to. And this one has pleasant weather most of the time, uh, fairly flat terrain, not too mountainous from what I've seen. Yeah, so we should have a good line of sight for a trade outpost. We are probably going to get attacked. One more reason we didn't come here in the uh, old solar ship, it's not upgraded at all doesn't even have full slots. That's the whole problem. <laughs> I probably would have kept that ship if it uh, if it was upgradable. It's just fine. I like the side engines just a tad better, but the caps for the engines are significantly better on this one. They've got the torpedo caps, which I really like. One of my favorites. Alright, let's hit our trade outpost scanner. There's a minor outpost. Which way? Behind us? Four minutes away, all right. So, I am not sure how much uh, metal plating we have, but I would like to be able to make a save beacon when we get down to the planet. I find this is going to be one of the most effective ways of farming this ship versus other methods like waiting for it to land on your freighter or waiting for it to land on a space station. Uh, yeah, there is a little minor hill on this side of us that we're in a little bit of a gully. It's, 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 could be better. And I don't want to land on uh, the trade outpost. I want to land on the ground. That's great. Okay, come on game. It's starting to lag again. That did not last long, that fix. <laughs> Alright, let's hop out. There is a very nice looking ship as well, but it's got the schnoz. Alright, we want to hop up to the top here. Whoa, come on, and place a save beacon. There we go. Build, hopefully we got the resources. We do not, we need to make some metal plating. Okay, yeah, I'm getting a bit of lag here. Okay. Now the important thing to do is actually save your game because as soon as pirates attack this trade outpost, you don't have to get in your ship and fight them. You just have to load your game. That's that's all you got to do. That'll get rid of them. Uh, so that's my method for farming ships without being bothered by pirates. And that way you get a fresh reload, right? So let's stand up on this and wait for some ships to land. That's a nice purple planet. If you don't have to look at that orange water, wherever the orange water is, there it is over there. From here you can't even tell. Very nice looking. Very purple trees too, actually. A lot of purple. Oh, what do we got, what do we got? Anything, no, nothing? Hmm. I thought we would see more ships than this, but that's what happens when you try to record this stuff. <laughs> oh, I hear somebody flying around. Where? Is that the guy that just left? Yeah, delayed sounds on those solar ships. There's a shuttle, there's a ship, I think. No, that's not the one we want. That's the one we just saw with the schnoz. What else we got coming in here? Nothing? Two ships at a time? That's, that's not acceptable. There is a green ship. That's not the one we're looking for. 
Looks like it also has a schnoz. That's uh, a marlin nose. Not what we're looking for. So let's do a reload now. Get a first wave look going here. Reload the manual save. That's the one we just made. Now I might, if I'm going to do a lot of reloading here, I might change my position so that I'm already up on the little fence that we jumped up on. I find when you change your camera angle, at least in third person mode, uh, to scan around at the various uh, platforms, if you're behind the fence, the camera doesn't like that. If you're on the fence, the camera will rotate all the way around, no problem. Let's see if we can show you guys what I mean. If the game ever reloads. Come on, what's, what's the problem? We were just here. We were just here. <laughs> there we go. So, if I go up to this fence so that I can see these ones, and then I rotate all the way around. Ah, uh, you know what? It's working okay right here. On some of these, it doesn't like it. Maybe it's just when you're up against this save beacon. Nah, it's fine. It's fine. But... If you are having problems, hop up a little. If you have rocket boots, this might be a bit hard to do. <laughs> there you go. We got a small hauler over there, box hauler. Nice colors on that. That's a very nice teal. But that's not what we're looking for. Neither is that. There's the same color teal. It wasn't a green ship. That's a really nice color. Uh, but not the style we're looking for, unfortunately. All right, we didn't get what we wanted. Now we can either wait for a second wave or we can immediately do another reload. I find this is tedious, but effective. This is a great way to do it. Just a bit boring. You're looking at this screen here quite a bit more than you would like to. Uh, but this is another effective way of avoiding pirate attacks. Every time you reload, you're resetting the timer for when they're going to have to attack again. I, I feel. Uh, I've never had them attack immediately after reloading a game. At least not since they fixed it. <laughs> they used to attack every 20 seconds like clockwork. Reload or not. All right, let's see. They usually spawn in behind us, but maybe I moved the camera fast enough that they're spawning in. Yeah, there's some over there. There's a ship. Uh, can't see it's behind the trees. That might be the one we're looking for. Looks like it has torpedo tips. I hope it lands here. Looks like it's landing. Yeah, that is the one we are after. Hopefully it's S-Class. The other version that took off into the sky was a C-Class. And down here we got a C-Class with <clears throat> one less slot. Great, that's fine. I bought, uh, well, scrapped lots of ships and got lots of storage augmentations. We can take care of that. Uh, make an offer on the ship. Come. Wow, come on, lag. <laughs> there we go. 1.9 million for C-Class. Come on, man. All right, well, we are going to take it. We're going to fly it up into space and get back to our freighter. Actually, we should probably just head to the space station straight away and get this thing upgraded first. Why not? Oh, yeah, look at that. Nice blue sails, round. Uh, we should do a comparison. We'll do a quick flyby in the old ship. Call the freighter in when we get close to the space station here. Uh, maybe we should do that first before we upgrade it. Nah, I'm going to make it a save with this purchased. I'm happy with it. I don't need to wait for it to come into S-Class. We can afford the upgrades. Uh, the main upgrades is A to S-Class anyway, so even if I wait around for an A-Class, we're not saving a huge amount of nanites or anything like that. 
I'll just spend it getting the upgrades on this thing. Okay. No, can't call on the freighter in pulse uh, in hyperdrive. What are we in? Pulse drive? <laughs> yeah, pulse drive. And we're gonna pop out of pulse drive far too close to the station to call it in right there. But let's turn like this and try over here. No? Nothing, huh? Alright. Uh, let's get out of that menu so we can move. And we'll try on this side of the space station. There we go. Uh, upgrade, upgrade. Yeah, let's do the upgrades first. We're, we're already in this ship. And hopefully, I don't know that they fixed the bug about upgrading your inventory slots, kicking you out every single time you upgrade, but let's see if we can try to game the system and get this thing upgraded without it kicking us out hardly at all. We'll see. See what we can do. All right, now this little terminal over here, this can also show you your, your uh, sail color. So you can buy a ship Come over to here and check the sail color and uh, scrap it right away if you don't like it. You don't have to take it out for a test flight. That's an advantage to farming them here versus on a planet because you can't tell the sail color until you get into space on a planet. All right, so upgrade ship. I have something like 50 something augmentations in my inventory. So let's start here. Make sure we can go above seven. Oh, okay, it kicked us out, but oh no, we are we're bugged. Well, well, darn. What is going on? It worked on permadeath. On permadeath, I can upgrade to 21 slots in tech. <sighs> this is very frustrating. Is this a problem just with blue ships? Is that what's, what's, what's bothering me here? Okay, well, I'm not going to waste any more storage augmentations. In fact, I might just load the game uh, yeah I think we're gonna call it a bit early now you know what how many did I spend there <laughs> I think I had 57 I've got 55 I spent two I spent two it's, it's no big deal we can go farm more let's go do our our test flight comparison I am very disappointed at, at least I know I'm not crazy that uh, it wasn't upgraded. All right, here's what the wings look like on this. Very blue, bright blue, but blue. Let's see what they look like on the old one. I believe they're what other people are calling white. I think they're a very, very light teal. <laughs> There we go. Yeah, much better wingtips on the new one, so I'm happy about that either way, but I am very upset that I can't upgrade this past seven tech slots, making it effectively useless. So you can see that's a lot lighter. I feel like it's almost the exact same shade, just a lot lighter of a color. But you know, when you put it against the black space or planet color there, it gets fairly white, I guess. Uh, but I'm happier, I think, with the blue, because this is a blue-themed save. So, uh, I'm going to wait around for a patch notes that specifically address this. I could have sworn it was fixed. It... Wow. That's, that's some lag again. Okay. Uh, but that's it for today, everyone. And uh, until next time, have a good time. Ooh. Weird noises. <laughs>